Hey, what's up guys? This is Carson and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite VSTs for producing and I'm just going to share a couple that I like to use. These are all free, by the way. Uh, most of them anyways. One of them is uh, is based on what version of uh, FL Studio you might have if you produce on FL Studio. Uh, and I believe you can buy it on its own, but I'm not entirely sure because I haven't really looked into that. But everything is free, basically. Uh, this is just for people who are already been producing for a while or if you're new and want to uh, experiment with some new sounds these are all very good before I actually get into it uh, get into the video though I wanted to talk about uh, an announcement that I've already shared I don't know if um, everyone's seen it so I thought I'd say it on a video just so people know the new album that I've been working on is going to be pushed back a year so it probably won't come back and come back come out. In 2021, it'll probably come out in 2022 because I want it to be the best. All right, to start off, uh, I really recommend Labs, uh, Spitfire Labs. It has a lot of free different uh, sound libraries. Let me just scroll through some of these and read them off. There's uh, some pipe organ stuff. There's um, Arctic Swells. There's pads. There's piano pads. There's a mandolin. Uh... There's trumpet stuff, there's strings, there's scary string sounds for people that like to make horror type stuff. Uh, there's some sleigh bells, there's a music box, there's guitars, there's just all kinds of stuff in this. And it's all free and uh, everything will be in the description. All the different links to all these different VSTs. Um, there's some choir stuff, electric piano, drums. So like I said, this is a really good one. I use this for, I use at least one of these sound libraries for at least every song that I put out because these are some really good sounds and it's all free. The next one is BBC Symphony Orchestra. Um, the, the Discover BBC Symphony Orchestra. It's normally, how much is it? It's normally like $50, uh, but there is an option where you can get it for free. And you fill out a form or something, you fill out all like your email and everything, and then you wait, I think it's 14 days, I think it was, it, it was like 14 days, and then they will send you it for free. And it has, uh, this is what I use for all my brass sounds, a majority of my string sounds I use uh, from this. Uh, there's percussion sounds, there's woodwinds, strings, brass as I mentioned, and then you can change the different pat, like you can change it from being a staccato, pizzicato, tremolo and then just long and then there's also just different stuff you can mess around inside the actual vst uh as far as like a um, uh, pitch shifting and stuff like that and this is a really good one as well if you uh try or if you are trying to do stuff with symphonic orchestral type music uh this is something that i recommend this other one that i like to use is called pendulate it's a uh it's just a synth uh, it's got a whole bunch of presets if you don't know how to sound design yet. It's a mono synth and it has uh, this double pendulum thing. Uh, there's all this different stuff you can do with the wave folder, uh, low, low pass gating, um, and then there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can do with pitch bending and um, mess around with the attack, the delay, the sustain, all that stuff. And this is really good for electronic sounds. Uh, for, what was it, Arrival? Uh, my song Arrival, if you haven't listened to it, I'll play the segment I'm talking about here, but there's this cool little, there's cool synth stuff going on, and uh, like all of that is coming from this. Um, it's just a really good thing uh, to have whenever you're trying to make aggressive uh, electronic sounds. This next one is the one I was talking about that came with FL, depending on which version you have. And uh, it's it's just a synthesizer. Um, there's AM, uh, FM based synth uh, synthesis, and um, there's a bunch of presets, again, if you don't really know how to sound design anything or make any uh, sounds. But this is what I use for a majority of, if I ever make anything like synth wavy or anything along those lines. Uh, I will use Flex because it has some really good sounds in this in this VST. I have two more that I'm gonna go over. Both of them are come they're coming from the same 
um, developer, I guess. This one is a bass guitar. It's just a simple bass guitar, and you can mess around with it. Uh, this is what I use for a majority of my songs for the bass part. Uh, it's either low strings or this, or it'll be both of them layered uh, and using different uh, parts of the sound. But this is just a really good bass uh, VST. It's free. It sounds good. Uh, I recommend you guys go get it. And then this last one is an acoustic guitar, and you can do some cool uh, pluck stuff with it. You can, pretty sure you can manipulate it to where it strums. Um, I've actually manipulated this VST to the point where it sounds like an electric guitar. If you listen to my Speed of Force remix, the main guitar, it's a layer between the uh, sample that he sent out and this, because the original sample was kind of hard to loop without you noticing it. Um, so I just have this uh, playing melody and I mess around with the sound and a majority of the electric guitar sound isn't even from the original sample, it comes from this. So this is a really good acoustic guitar, uh, you can mess around with it. I'm pretty sure I used it for one of my album songs for Alter. Um, I honestly can't remember which one it was, uh, but I, I used uh, the strumming on one of those songs. And that's about it for this video. I just wanted to make a really fast video talking about the different uh, VSTs that I primarily use. Um, again, like a majority of these are free, like all but one. And even then that one might be free and I might just be dumb uh, and not actually knowing. But it just came with my thing. So I didn't actually go and download it from anywhere. So all these other ones are free. Uh, you can check out Flex, see if that is but that's all I really got for this video, and I hope you guys have a good day.